Good evening, I'm Brendan Clark, and we are continuing to follow developing news at this hour on the school lockdown that took place at Philip Simmons Elementary, Middle, and High Schools this afternoon. Two armed juvenile students were arrested as a result. News News' Kevon Dupree joins us live from Philip Simmons. And Kevon, things are back to normal now. A football game was played there tonight, but that certainly wasn't the case this afternoon. Scary moments. Brennan, one of the students here at Philip Simmons Middle School told me exactly what she experienced when the schools first went on lockdown early this afternoon. I was standing there and I remember thinking to myself like, I really hope I make it, make it out of here. Like, I really hope I do. Philip Simmons students fearing for their lives after all three schools were placed on lockdown this afternoon. Usually we leave at like 2.40, 2.42, like all that. It was like 2.50 and me and my friend, we were like, well, we were already supposed to leave. And then we were sitting there and then all of a sudden my ma my science my science teacher, she was like, um, y'all come on, we've got to get in the closet, come on, come on, come on. She shut off the lights and then we all got in the closet. Philip Simmons middle school student Bailey Smoke says it was more than 20 students crammed in that classroom closet. It was like really hot, I remember that. And um, like a bunch of people were kind of scared. One girl was hyperventilating and a couple of my friends beside me, they were like, um, like they were crying and stuff and that they were text, all texting their moms. And Smoke also texted her mom during the hour they were in the closet. And I was texting her like stuff like briefly, like a little bit of music, like mom, I'm in, I'm in the room, I'm safe. Um, we're very crammed in here and stuff like that. And then she was like telling me like it's okay, stay safe, she loved me. The Phillips Simmons seventh grader still in disbelief over the events that transpire early Friday afternoon. It's crazy to think like why like people would bring like guns to school and stuff like that because this is the high school and it was like it's crazy. Law enforcement says both suspects have been taken into custody and the investigation is currently still ongoing. Reporting live in Berkeley County, Kevon Dupree, Count On 2.